Hi guys, how are you? I have another vlog this week. I really am in my vlog bag. I'm actually opening this vlog today on a Thursday. I had a half day at work today. My manager was like, yep, yeah, everyone clear their diaries from 1 p.m and have an extended weekend because of course it's bank holiday and i was just like you do not need to tell me twice that's exactly what i'm gonna do so i thought i'd just pick up the camera now um i'm currently making some food i don't really i don't even really want to show you what i'm having for for dinner because i know people are going to be like what is that little bit of dinner like what that is not even dinner i would normally have this for lunch but i'm going to make some chicken paninis and maybe have some onion rings on the side i've already just put the chicken in the grill and now i'm like really really hungry i do this thing right where i like wait until i'm really hungry to cook and then i'm just like why is the food taking so long <laughs> i have so many orders like let me get up and show you. So guys, these are all the parcels that I have. I have been saving all these parcels so that I can unbox them with you guys on camera. So there's a lot here. I don't think I'm gonna do it all in one sitting because that might be a bit boring. So I might do some this evening and then do some tomorrow morning. So I have a lot of things that I want to do in this vlog. I'm going to try the baked oats this vlog i remember i said that last time and i didn't do it so i'm going to do the baked oats so i'm just going to wait for my food to be to be ready i will show you what i'm having but i'm just it's quite embarrassing it really is like my dinners aren't normally like this i promise <laughs> i do have proper food i promise but this yeah this is what i'm having today all right then guys i will catch you in a bit have just kind of woken up hence why my voice is sounding like this um i didn't manage to close the vlog yesterday because i ate and i just felt super super slumped afterwards and i was just like okay i'm not going to pick up the camera again the reason why i've picked up the camera straight away this morning um is because i wanted to open up some of my orders with you guys this morning just because there's something in here that i need to make breakfast but all will be revealed today is good friday i probably should have mentioned um so you know bank holiday chilled vibes and everything so i'm going to open up the amazon parcels first this is probably really boring but I picked up some toothbrush heads for my electric toothbrush. Now, I actually got my electric toothbrush from Amazon. So I can't get a regular like toothbrush head from like Superdrug or Boots. I just picked up this. Um, I like these um, because they also come with like a little cap. I'm really funny and I always have to have... Um, a cover over my toothbrush head because I'm just like I don't know what's going on when I'm not there if I don't have that they have like four in a pack which is good now the next thing that I picked up like this is really weird so I'm gonna have to give you guys a bit of a backstory on this but I've picked up these resistant bands um for fingers and it's for like sports and recovery so i'm gonna try and keep this story really long um not really short sorry when i was in my teens i realized that my fingers were 
like i can't i don't even want to like freak you guys out but like i'm gonna see if you guys can hear this but can you hear the clicking sound on my fingers like it started off with like one finger and then over the years it's just like got worse when i wake up in the morning my fingers are like super super stiff i went to the doctors like years ago about it and they had nothing to say about it i've purchased these resistant bands with the idea to try and see if i can make my finger muscles stronger i don't want anyone to be too concerned like i can still use my fingers it's fine i just like they just get really achy i can use these to try and strengthen my fingers so it comes with this round one it comes with this and i guess the idea is that you put your wait is this for the thumb put your fingers in it oh god so you put your fingers in it like that and i guess you're supposed to just like stretch it out i guess as your fingers get stronger the more you're able to like pull it out so i've got two of these and then two of these so i'm just hoping that that can help with just strengthening my fingers i'm just giving it a go because i am still young and i just if i can try and nip it in the bud um so that's what i picked up from that amazon package i've actually totally forgotten what's in here oh yes yeah. so i think i mentioned this yesterday um so i've picked up some vacuum storage bags um just because i want to pop away my winter clothes and apparently these are really good to save space so i will show you guys when i use those this was a six pack which i thought was really good because you get quite a lot and um, so i thought if i need more i'll go on amazon and pick up some more but i'm really excited to show you guys this i've never used these before so it's going to be a first time really boring i picked up an expense well not expensive it's better than your cheap ones and it is just a a peeler um so like potato peeler you can also peel like veg pick that up from amazon and then at the start of the show i'm going to make some baked oats this morning for breakfast and i've just picked up a digital scale um because the scale that i had yeah i'm just not a huge fan of that but it's tiny but it's so small this is the one that i picked up i'm hoping it fits like my bowls and stuff we'll give it a go i do need to put some batteries inside oh no there's batteries in there already does it not work no i'm upset it's not turning on okay i'm going to see if i need to change the batteries then what is this i'm how okay i'm going to change the batteries oh the batteries still have the plastic on <laughs> silly me okay guys we have lift off i just had to take the plastic off i had one final amazon package i picked up some nipple covers i'll show you guys i'll link everything in the description bar in case you are wanting to pick anything up i've never really used nipple covers to be honest but this came with um a few different types so you get um, a few circle ones a few flower ones and then it also came with these the recyclable reusable nipple covers also so you get two circles and two flowers this is not me giving a review so i'm just showing you guys what i've picked up so i can't really tell you if it's good or not when i use them and i'm wearing something i'll let you guys know if they're good or not so please don't go and take this as a recommendation because I don't know. And then, guys, my memory card. So I only picked this up last weekend. Um, it did arrive on the Tuesday, but work was just so busy that I just didn't have time to go and collect it. So I collected it on the Saturday. I'm super, super happy that I've got that as I could do lots more vlogging so that's everything that i've ordered so i'm going to make some breakfast
guys it is now what four it is four o'clock and i have just been chilling for most of the day as you can see i have just washed my hair i am going to put a treatment on but i just wanted to come on and tell you about the baked oats that i had for breakfast mm. delicious delicious they are banging so if you're looking for like a healthy breakfast definitely check out a baked oats option i really enjoyed that the only thing is i wouldn't have it in the week because obviously you have to mix it you have to get out the ingredients and yeah it's just a bit long that's the only thing but apart from that it was yeah really really nice i would definitely have it again so i'm gonna pop this treatment in my hair now we'll catch up again but i just wanted to quickly come on and talk about the bait oh Saturday today so the last thing that you would have seen on the vlog was me making dinner so as you can see I had fried fish because yesterday was good Friday and I made I'm not going to call it mac and cheese because I didn't have the right pasta for mac and cheese but I made like a vegan cheesy pasta um it was actually really nice the flavor was there but of course because it's vegan it doesn't crisp as nice as I would like if I was using like normal cheese flavor banging but obviously it just doesn't have the crispy top. I fancied some mac and cheese, but of course I'm not going to do that to my skin. Yesterday I made some fried dumplings. I make, I kid you not, the best fried dumplings. And it's kind of like a secret recipe. I don't know if anyone else makes their dumplings like this. My dinner was mm, banging. So guys, I haven't really been vlogging that much this weekend. Because if I'm honest, I'm not doing that much because I am resting. Guys, I'm really enjoying this weekend. I am relaxing. I feel good. So I've napped like two days in a row. I'm honestly guys, I don't normally nap. I'm really enjoying that. Just chilling, relaxing, really doing nothing, watching TV. I have got a bowl of fruit that I'm just tucking into. I wanted to show you the rest of the things that I ordered. So I'm going to do that with you guys. I did wash my hair yesterday, like I mentioned. So under this, I have all my twists. Um, so for the rest of the vlog my bonnet's probably going to be on because you guys already know what it looks like underneath there so yeah let me get the parcels and we'll sit down and do some of the unboxing I'm hoping that my battery doesn't die on me so this one's a really quick one and I'm not even going to spend too long on this because you guys already know what it is it's the Kiehl's clearly corrective dark spot solution you guys know what it is 60 bob for this solution that i it's the serum sorry that i use on my face so yeah picked another one of that up lasted me quite some time the 60 pounds one um in my vlog last time i in december i showed you guys when i purchased that so that's lasted what over three months so that's good anyway so i've picked up these these are really basic because you guys know i like a timeless wardrobe i like sort of just basics in my wardrobe so i picked these up from well these are really good quality oh 
Oh God, it's a bit short though. Probably could have got these in a bigger size. Hmm. But yeah, I picked up this white t-shirt in a size 12. The material on this is amazing. I normally buy my underwear from M&S because it's just really good quality. Um, and someone else mentioned that their tees are quite good. So I picked these up. Um, so I'll try these on and see what they fit like. I got a size 12. I'm wishing I probably had got... They do look a bit small. I wish I had got maybe a 14, possibly even a 16. These are going to be like really, especially the white one. These are going to be, it's going to be like a really good staple in spring, summer. Let me go try this on and then I will come back. So just wanted to show you the ones that I picked up. Um, So like I said, it's a size 12, regular half sleeve crew neck two pack and it's pure cotton. And I got two for £12.50. I thought that was a really, really good bargain. So I'm gonna have to send this back because this is a size 12. I don't know if these just come really small or I have put on weight, I don't know what it is. This is really, really tight and it's a size 12. Um, so yeah, like there's no leeway in the arms. I just think I need to like size up a few more sizes. I like when stuff are oversized, so I'm gonna return this and get a bigger size. But the material on this, guys, is amazing. It's not see-through or anything like that. Um, so the quality is second to none. I'm not going to try the white on because of course it's just going to be the same. Um, so I'll open the next package. So next thing that I picked up, I have got clothes on. Just want to highlight that. Now I am so, so excited about this and it is from H&M. I'm a bit worried that this is going to be too big, but let me get it out of the packet. Now, if you guys are a regular subscriber, you will know, what is it? Can you tell with how long it is and what it is? But you will know that I did a haul, coat haul in, was it November? Anyway, and I said I wanted like a, sort of light colour so that could go with everything but then I ended up keeping the browner coat so that's suitable for autumn winter. I really really want a Burberry trench coat. I even started saving them on um, Farfetch. I was just like I really want it. I was like I'm iffing and butting about this Burberry coat and then I came across this on H&M and I was like this looks very very similar if you know what the Burberry trench coat looks like it is very very similar to this color so I was like okay for now I'm gonna stick to this um, and later down the line I probably will just invest in a Burberry trench coat because it's a timeless piece it's you can bring it out autumn winter summer spring Maybe not summer, but definitely spring. And it's just a great, great piece to have in your wardrobe. And I love a trench coat. So I picked this one up. Now I'm slightly concerned about the sizing now because I picked it up in a medium to large because I want it to have that oversized look. And then I ordered this and then ended up watching a lady on YouTube and she was like oh she got the medium to large and she wished she had got the small to medium because it's very oversized so i'm not sure what this is going to look like but i'm super super excited to try this on fingers crossed it fits because this has honestly sold out on h&m and i think it is because like i said it is a really good Okay, so the lighting's a bit better in here but guys i absolutely love this coat i have ordered a new mirror because this mirror just yes yeah, not cutting it but this coat is absolutely bomb i actually like it in the medium to large because obviously in autumn winter when i've got like thick jumpers on or hoodies this would be like really good to just wear with that so it's not too small so i love the oversized fit guys how bomb is this coat i really wish i could show you guys um properly in a better mirror but i am absolutely in love it is the perfect color the only thing that i think might get on my nerves and i might remove actually is the arms um it's just not tight enough and i think i'm actually going to end up losing these we'll see um but so 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 cute happy with this Morning guys! 
guys today is sunday i wasn't going to pick up the camera so soon this morning but i am just um washing some veg and i really wanted to show you guys why it's important oops that's the washing machine i was washing my veg and i really wanted to show you guys why it's important to wash your veg this is so disgusting uh, just about to cook some tender stem broccoli i leave the veg to soak in some salty water i left it to soak about five minutes this is not even the state of what it was like before but i was like no i need to show you guys this so this is like I don't even know how many washes I've done now. I think this is about six, wash six or seven. I left it to soak and then I washed it again. And I just wanted to show you, like, look what comes out. There's like little insects. Can you see that? There's like little insects that are coming out of the broccoli. There's like huge flies. Look, there's one. That black thing there that you can see is an actual fly. Now, if that, and there's another fly there, look fly there fly there if that is not enough for you to wash your veg then i don't know why i'll go on for you i just wanted to show you guys it is not enough to just splash a little of water on your veg you've got to like soak it and all that jazz because the nastiness that comes out is just ugh. anyway good morning it is easter sunday today the sun is shining i am feeling really good this weekend i just think i needed this rest this sort of i don't know just cool down period which has just been really really refreshing i'm going to go for a walk as well because i don't know since i've been driving i just drive everywhere um so i've got that return to take back to the post office for the mns order so instead of driving i'm actually going to walk through the park so i'll bring you guys along with me whilst i do that so once i've like gone out the road done my walk i'm going to use that foot scrub and have a bit of a pamper day so you know sundays are my pamper day but i'm gonna go the extra length today and use the foot scrub i'm just going to put another load in and then yeah we'll catch up i think the next time you'll see me is when we're ready to go for the walk <laughs> the evening it's been a couple of hours now since i've come back from my lovely walk i went on an extra long walk i feel so unfit and this is so off brand for me because for how long i've been into my fitness i go to the gym regularly and i just feel so unfit so i cannot wait for the gyms to open up next week as you can see i've got my shower cap on i'm going to start self care sundays i am going to use that foot scrub i know i said in my i think it was was it my last vlog i think it was my last vlog i was like i don't even have hard skin like that <laughs> I have hard skin like that my foot is looking gross i'm of course going to show you guys because we're part of the small family on here so i'm gonna show you what my foot's looking like i'm doing everything guys i'm shaving my legs i'm i'm doing the whole shebang it's gonna be probably like an hour shower so yeah i'm gonna go and do that now ladies time right now yeah
self-care Sunday done. Before I head off, I just wanted to talk about the foot products that I used. So I used the scrub, the moisturiser and then the oil. So all in all, I would rate the products a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. So what I will say is that the foot scrub isn't harsh enough to take off all the dead skin so that's why i went in with the hard skin remover and that took off all the skin this product which is the foot magic the moisture moisturizer is very very thick but you know what i'm not mad at the products if you look at the footage my foot is looking kind of kind of all right what i will say though this is something that i don't mind but i know shan doesn't like this about the product so because the product isn't greasy i will say that if you like your products to feel like it's moisturized um then you're not going to like the oil for sure. I really liked the product. I am going to wrap this vlog up now, guys. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss out on the enjoyment that is happening on this channel. And I shall see you in my next video, guys. Bye.